This tutorial is on the array command and the tutorial is suitable for beginners. It's a basic guide to it. The array command can be found over here on the modify tab on the ribbon. Flying this out gives us three different options. We have rectangular, we have path and polar. I'm going to have a look at all three. I'll start off with the polar array. What I am going to need is a block to begin with. So I'm going to bring in this tree scale it down a little and move it into place and what I'd like to do is array this tree around this traffic island click on polar array select the object and enter and then pick the center of the array and automatically it's given me a preview of six objects the items over here I can change if I wanted seven just change the number and it's easily done the full angle we can choose in this case it's through a full 360 escaping out leaves me with my array at any point I can click back on it this is different to previous versions and I'm able to just easily change the numbers so changing it from seven to eight perhaps is very easily done be aware that this entire array does land onto its own specific layer so you might find that the array itself is on a different layer to the blocks which have made up the array so just be careful of that and be aware of it the next one we'll have a look at is relatively new to AutoCAD which is the path array I've got a road edge over here if I wanted to array some trees in a pattern along the edge of the road what I'm going to do here is an offset something like three meters I'm working in millimeters here and this line which I've offset will form the path for my array again I'm going to insert a tree and from here choose path array following the prompts in the command line select object enter select the path curve here again I'm given a preview the default here is that it's given me distances between the trees and that's a center to center amount so if I wanted let's say eight meters between the centers of each tree I'd type that in and there it's adjusted I could take that up to 10 meters you can change the method of its measuring you can see here the measure method has been used I could turn it into divide instead which means now it's going to divide that path into the number of items that I specify so I could type in 10 8 etc that path can then go and the last form of array is the rectangular array multiple rows and columns it's a rectangular we choose the object again and enter now it's given me a preview already I can choose the number of columns or the number of rows or choose distance between so changing it to four columns and four rows we can also make adjustments by using the arrows here on the array either stretching a distance between the trees or adding extra items I think the easiest way though to deal with arrays is simply to adjust the numbers that are given to you up on the ribbon so I hope that's helpful as an introduction to array if you are a beginner I would suggest playing around with the three and simply appropriating it for the type of drawings you need to produce